houses. So like I said before, ooh, just got attacked by a bee. With the nickname Jewel of the Hills, who wouldn't want to live in or visit La Mesa? It's one of San Diego's most popular suburbs and is growing fast and for very good reason. It's conveniently located to just about all of San Diego and that's while maintaining its own community, offering both quiet neighborhood feel with all the amenities of a larger city. All right, what is up you guys? Today we are gonna be checking out the amazing neighborhood of La Mesa. So at the moment I'm standing right in what's considered like downtown La Mesa on La Mesa Boulevard. Uh, specifically, this thing behind me is called, it's called The Lookout. So it actually has a time capsule. So check this out. They're gonna open it in 2062, so that should be pretty cool. Anyway, but it's the beginning of an amazing promenade here. So you're gonna have restaurants, amazing shops, cafes, boutiques. Um, Great place for dinner, for lunch, brunch, whatever it might be. Just walked by an amazing guitar repair shop, which I'm gonna be bringing back my guitar to get fixed. So it's an amazing little area, but the Mesa in general, I wanted to show it to you because it's an amazing place to live, um, amazing place to spend time. It's just something you should know about if you are in San Diego. So definitely worth visiting. So we're gonna check out downtown La Mesa today. Uh, I'm gonna take you through some of the neighborhoods, show you what the housing looks like. Uh, there's also lots of apartments and condos here. Um, it's a very, very popular neighborhood or suburb, I should say. It's pretty big, so, and it's actually growing. Within the last 10 years, I think the population has increased like 10%. And it's an older community. It's not like they're building tons of new homes. It's mostly resale. So, very popular, great for you young professionals. Very popular with millennials. So, they, I think the average age in La Mesa right now is like 36 or 37 years old. But, um, but it's good for everybody. So uh, I definitely wanna show you around, show you what it's all about. So we're gonna hit downtown La Mesa today. We're gonna show you uh, the Lake Murray Boulevard and Mission, Mission Hill, or Mission Hill, Mission Trail system, which includes all the hiking and uh, around Cows Mountain and all the good stuff, which is incredible. Can't wait to show you that. I'm gonna take you up uh, to Mount Helix Park and we'll show you, take you down to the, uh, show you the trolley station. This trolley station stops right here in uh, La Mesa near the downtown. So transportation is awesome. It makes it super walkable. All right, guys, let's take a look. So among many other things, La Mesa is known for its quaint downtown area, more commonly referred to by locals as the village. There's an incredible amount of small local type businesses ranging from restaurants, cafes, shops, I saw a print shop, wine tasting, hair salons, financial services, antique shops, ice cream, my personal favorite, taco shops, and everything else in between. As I strolled down the La Mesa Boulevard, I couldn't help but feel transported back in time a little bit to 1912 to La Mesa's earliest days. The history has been maintained beautifully. There was a walkway of the stars in La Mesa that pays tribute to the city's volunteers that have put in over 10,000 community service hours. Geared towards younger families, there are a number of things for families to do in downtown La Mesa, like Oktoberfest, concert, or concerts during the summer, Christmas in the village, back to the 50s car show, the antique street fair, and a flag day parade in June. Not sure if you guys remember, but uh, from my Encinitas vlog, there's a great little cafe in that uh, in, in that little vlog. The shot of it was called Swami's. So there's actually a Swami's over here too. It's a great little place to eat. Um, but you can see that I've just walked down the strip a little bit here, La Mesa Boulevard. We're actually going to be coming up on the uh, on the trolley station here in a second. So I mean, it's so convenient. And it's the orange line, I believe, and it runs all the way to downtown San Diego. So you can go to or from, let's say you wanna to go to a Padre game. I mean, you, you'll be there in 15, 20 minutes. It's so easy to get back and forth. So makes it, you know, La Mesa is a big area, but it makes it, it has actually a high walk score, but um, for someone who's experienced it and been here, I don't know that it's super walkable because it's a very big area, but definitely having that trolley close by helps a ton. So. Anyway, it's uh, not a huge area down here, but you can see that there's a lot packed into a very small area. A lot of great, great stuff. Restaurants, bars, uh, sh cafes, shops. And uh, we're here midweek, but this place would be so busy if, um, if it was like a Saturday or Sunday, um, even a Friday, because on Fridays, they actually have an amazing farmer's market. 
all the way up and down La Mesa Boulevard. So they closed it down. It's so great. Uh, it's some of the best vendors um, that, you know, for as far as farmers markets go in pretty much San Diego. It's one of the better farmers markets. All right, guys, let's get a little closer. I'm going to show you what the, uh, what the trolley looks like, trolley tracks. The trolley meets La Mesa Boulevard right at the intersection of La Mesa Boulevard and Spring Street. You can't miss the bright red trolley as it rumbles into and out of the station. But what really jumps out is the La Mesa Depot Museum, where visitors can expect the steam locomotive, a string of freight cars on the nearby track, and pass through the ticket waiting area and view the telegrapher station and a small exhibit area in the baggage room. So people are so friendly down here. Uh, for the most part, everybody I pass, smiling and waving. Um, everybody seems to be just like in good spirits overall. Quite a bit different than what uh, what I'm used to seeing sometimes in the city. So it's pretty pretty amazing. But um, you know, another thing that uh, like a lot of families are attracted to La Mesa. Um, so I'm gonna throw up on screen right now some of the um, school ratings from uh, from niche.com so check this out I mean they're very it's very very popular so for the schools for uh, all levels like elementary middle school and then high school so but um look at this it's like a antique store so they have like a mini antique row as well but um anyway so uh, let's hop in let's take a look at some of the houses so like I said before ooh, just got attacked by a bee that was crazy. It literally landed on my my wrist, the wrist that I'm holding this camera. I didn't kill it; it flew away, so it's all good. But uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the housing. So um, Mesa is very big, so I'm just gonna pick like a few select streets. But you're gonna have everything here. You're gonna have homes in the million dollar range. You're gonna have homes right around the San Diego median price point, which is about. 750 650 you're gonna have homes below that um there's gonna be like condos some of the most inexpensive condos in san diego that are in like a decent area are in around here in la mesa um it's got a little bit of everything it's got apartments so um but we're gonna walk uh, i'm gonna walk some of the streets here show you what uh, some of the homes look like this is gonna be starts gonna be that area kind of near that downtown la mesa boulevard so all right guys let's do it you will find a broad range of property types throughout the entire suburb of La Mesa. There is a mix of homes, condominiums, townhomes, apartments throughout the entire area. Although there's some new construction that's been happening, most of the detached homes you're gonna see in the neighborhoods will tend to be a few years old. <laughs> and in many cases, they have a ton of character. Some have been renovated and landscaped right back to their good old glory days, while others may might be awaiting their turn and present an excellent investment opportunity for those on the handier side or willing to put in the sweat equity. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. So that's gonna be downtown La Mesa and we went through some of the neighborhoods. So you can see some of the houses that are right near that downtown area. So also too, I forgot to mention, throughout um, throughout La Mesa, there's gonna be tons of like park, like park sports parks for like baseball, soccer, all that kind of stuff. Tons of them throughout La Mesa. Uh, in fact, we're walking up on one right now. Super kid friendly even adult friendly <laughs> so um, I think what we'll do at this point is I want to take you over to uh, Lake Murray uh, Lake Murray check it out so that's gonna have like fishing boating uh, it's got miles and miles of just like walking and jogging trails and then um, so we'll check that out you can do like uh, you can rent like paddle boats there you can do uh, fishing boats all that good kind of stuff so it's pretty cool and then um, when we're done with that I'm gonna take you up to uh, Mount Helix Park uh, for the views so it's insane it's incredible it's amazing up there so we'll do that next all right guys to be 100% honest I think I was probably looking forward to this part of the day the most so Lake Murray is a super popular destination open seven days a week for fishing boating walking jogging biking and picnicking it is incredibly relaxing to spend time here. the birds are plenty there are 64 plus picnic tables and over 10 barbecues along the lake for public use Boats are allowed and available to rent. Dogs are allowed. All right, you guys. So at this point, this is gonna be an amazing part 
of living in La Mesa or spending time here. So I'm down at uh, Lake Murray. So you can see behind me, check out all these like waterfowl. So there's like ducks down here, it's geese. It's, uh, check this out, just so many of them. There's a couple geese over here. He's making a lot of noise. He's kind of walking towards me. So I'm not sure if he's too happy with me at the moment. <laughs> anyway, uh, so like I said, this is an amazing aspect to La Mesa. Um, so Lake Murray is actually part of the Mission Trail system, which is all about hiking, mountains. Um, you may or may not have heard of the Five Peak Challenge. I've done it. You should try it. So it's basically like a I think it's an 11 and a half mile hike all together. It's five different peaks in the Mission Trails uh, mountain system. And you, once you send all five peaks, you get this little like, certificate and all this. It's pretty cool. So I did it in a few days. Uh, some people do it in the same day, which is crazy. Anyway, but so that's part of the same Mission Trail system here. Um, but so, but this part here is, is great. So Lake Murray, you can actually um, fish down here uh you can spend time there's miles and miles i think it's up to seven and a half miles of like walking or jogging trails you can see right here there's somebody out here jogging there's other people out here just relaxing and enjoying the uh views there's like picnic tables spread throughout it's a great place for uh family to go come here on the weekends maybe um it's a good place for someone to come and just unwind. Uh, it's just a very, very cool space. Very open, very quiet, very peaceful. Um, and it's a big lake. You can actually uh, rent like paddle boats down here. Um, you can, the small like fishing boats. Uh, this thing, you do need to have a fishing license. So I think if you're over 16, so they do sell them here. So you have to do that. But um, and you're gonna have, uh, as far as types of fish here, it's gonna be, uh, they stock it with like largemouth bass, uh, crappie, there's gonna be like bluegill, catfish, uh, trout. Um, I think that's it. They could be, I could be missing one. But anyway, it's pretty cool. It's a, good, it's a nice little place to fish. So this is gonna be Lake Murray. I'm gonna show you around a little bit more. I'm gonna see if I can get a good better view of those, uh, uh, those mountain peaks that I was talking about for the five peak challenge. So let's take a look. The ducks, the geese, and all the other animals are clearly used to humans. They not only didn't run, they didn't even move when I walked to and by. It was incredibly enjoyable to spend part of the day surrounded by nature and the calming sound of the wind against the ripples in the lake. I briefly crossed paths with this young couple and their newborn baby. The fish were biting. The couple had said they caught a number of fish and had only been there for less than an hour. That's actually going to be the uh, little fish shop, so you can buy like uh, buy bait, you know, like earthworms, crawdads, that kind of stuff. So you can do that here. Um, but you can see there's like a little fishing boat coming in right here. Uh, just so cool down here, so relaxing. Um, just going to show you like where some of the docks would launch, or the dock, the docks with the boats that would launch. So you have a little fishing boats, got all the kayaks, and then of course you have like. You can have restrooms here, you know, it's just it's just picnic tables spread throughout. Um, it's pretty cool too, a lot of the birds, like the ducks and the geese, I mean, you can get pretty close. Uh, they're obviously super used to humans because they they're not scared at all. So it's a lot of fun, but uh, here's, where, here's where you'd launch. See, there's all kinds of areas around here to hang out. So, um, and then one other thing I want to show you is the, uh, one of the mountain peaks here. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's from that five peak challenge. I think that might be South Fortuna. I'm not sure. If it is, that was one of the hardest ones. So it has this like crazy part of it called Stairway to Heaven. And it's like super deep, super, uh, super steep. I actually did another video where I went up that peak and it was so crazy, it was so steep. Anyway, so that's right there. But you can see how big this lake is. I mean, it's just pretty amazing. So, huge perk to living in La Mesa. Okay, let's continue. The drive from Lake Murray to Mount Helix was considerable, especially when you look at the fact that we are still technically in the same suburb of La Mesa. But I have to tell you, the drive did not disappoint. 
Although the road leading to Mount Helix Park was a little tight at times and slightly more windy than I would have preferred, the views were nothing short to, of spectacular. Maybe some of the best in the entire San Diego. There were only a select few parking spots when I finally did reach Mount Helix Park, so I ended up parking along the roadside about 500 feet from the actual parking area. All right, you guys, so how amazing is this? So we're still in La Mesa. This is actually gonna be the uh, community of uh, specifically Mount Helix, which is almost like its own little sub-community. Um, it's all centered around me at Mount Helix. There's a, uh, if you've ever been to San Diego, you looked in the distance, you might've seen this. This is at the top of this mountain, uh, Mount Helix Park. But you can see that um, they do different events down here in the Sampa Theater. They have like concerts, they have like awards. It's huge, it's this huge, I don't know how many people have seats, but it's pretty incredible. So I've seen different events here, music shows, things like that. Um, but the views up here are just spectacular. So check this out. Let's get a better look. I mean, that's amazing. You can see all of East County. That's back over by the amphitheater. If you look over there, it's gonna be the Mission Trail system again with the mountains. Just amazing, amazing views up here. So another, uh, another big perk to uh, live in or spending time in La Mesa, Mount Helix. Let's go to the other side here. We've looked off that side, looked off this side. Let's look off the last side. I mean, these are amazing views too. Check this out. Uh, too bad it's not more of a clear day. So it's been a little bit rainy here the last few days in San Diego, but let's check this out. That's the ocean in the distance. I don't know if you can make it out. Hopefully it comes through in the video. Definitely the ocean over there. If it was a better day, clear day, we'd see it easily. If you're ever looking to just get a lay of the land like in San Diego too, I mean, you can see everything from up here. So, uh, highly recommend you check this out. <sighs> it's, uh, I'm here in the uh, like lunch hour midweek. So um, it's a little less crowded, but there's gonna be more people here obviously on a weekend. Cross is huge. <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely recommend coming out here. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed that tour of uh, La Mesa. I mean, it's an amazing suburb in San Diego, super family, family friendly. It's a growing community, which is super interesting, like I said before, because it's not like there's a lot of new construction here, there's a lot of resale. So people really like this community. It's uh, friendly neighborhoods, friendly people. It's got so many good things going for it. And it's a growing community. I think it's grown like 10% in the last uh, 10 or 11 years, so population-wise. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Um, if you're looking for a great place, great suburb of San Diego, something, something that's gonna be close to everything, close to downtown. I mean, you're basically 20, 25 minutes from anything you wanna do in San Diego. So pretty amazing. So anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, this tour, I do these videos at least once a week, usually more. If you could smash that subscribe button for me, I greatly appreciate it and hit that like, that would be even better. And I will see you on the next one.